Basque and Bloom Essentials next on City Corner. Hi, I'm Sarah Thompson and welcome to City Corner. Well, we all love a great entrepreneur story and so today's program is no exception. We're gonna be learning more about Basque and Bloom Essentials. Now this is an align a line of innovative, ethically sourced hair care products founded by my guest, Candira Thompson. She's the CEO and founder of Basque and Bloom Essentials. And this company's based here in St. Louis and yes, has it a very personal, very interesting origin story connected to you postpartum after you had your children. Mm -hmm. um, I read about you, thought it was great, just everything, the business, everything, your personal journey, your entrepreneurial journey, and I'm so glad you could be here today. Thank you for having me, I'm excited. I know, I really wanted, there's so much about your story that I think for anyone who's on the, on the entrepreneurial side, who's thinking about starting a business that really hits at so many things that go through that process, so I do mm -hmm. wanna get into that. But before, to set that all up, we have to tell people <laughs> about Baskin Bloom Essentials and, and what it is. Absolutely, so Baskin Bloom Essentials, we formulated this line to help women bounce back to healthy flourishing here. It was inspired by my journey and tons of other women who had kids um, and suffered from postpartum shedding, postpartum hair loss, and were looking for remedies to get their hair back healthy after the postpartum phase left their body. So um, everything is non-toxic. Um, we really wanted to give them all of the nourishing ingredients that they can use outside of the body, especially new moms, they're breastfeeding, mm -hmm. taking, you know, prenatal vitamins and stuff. So we kind of wanted to give them that same treatment with their hair care regimen too. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we're looking at these photos. You've brought some of the products. And so it's really easy, I think, sometimes for a consumer to, this is gonna, this is our, our origin story here. Yeah. And then when people look at a product, they're not thinking of the story behind it and right. the years that go into it. We were just looking at photos you of you that was after you had was that your first or second child that was my second I was pregnant with her and um right after four months after I had her I just I went in the shower and just felt my hair coming out in my hands while I was washing it mm -hmm. and um it clumped up so bad I couldn't even comb it anymore it was just it, it knotted up mm -hmm. so I threw a towel on my head and just went to the salon and cut it off and that's when I also realized I had a bald <laughs> spot in the mm -hmm. middle so you know I was already looking into that because I, you know, that was my second. And it just gave me that push, like, okay, this can go from postpartum shedding to being severe. Yeah. And why is no one talking about how severe it can get? Mm -hmm. And, you know, what options are out there? Mm -hmm. So it, it pushed me really just to be that person, that voice to say, okay, you guys gonna watch me on my journey to get my hair back healthy. And hopefully what I'm doing and my solutions will help someone else too. Oh my gosh, so yeah. I mean, yeah, the postpartum journey in general, I mean, you people, we don't, we talk about it and we don't, right? I think everyone right. will say to you, oh, you'll have a drop in hormones. There'll be changes like this. You may, mm -hmm. when you're combing your hair, have this, but everybody's experience is very different. And so when do you go from, okay, clearly you you cut off your hair at mm -hmm. that point, I'm gonna create, like, what if I created a product? Where does it go from that that idea to then putting like a business plan thinking I could do this? And it's not like, let me just consult or speak <laughs> about this. You're actually concocting ingredients of a product. Right. How, did, where did, when, how, how did that happen? And it's, that? it's a very tricky situation because you can't stop postpartum. Right. You know, it's hormonal. And I wanted to be very caref careful when creating products to not promise like, hey, these products are gonna stop your hair from shedding, you know? So I, I did not wanna do that. I wanted to make sure whoever I was talking to, they understood like these are support, supportive products for you. So while your body is getting rid of those hormones, you have support with your hair care to strengthen your hair and to help you retain the length. So that took a lot, a lot of research to be very <laughs> precise wow. on what I wanted to do. Thankfully, you know, I was with, with Facebook and social media, I tapped into a lot of people that were in that space, a dermatologist, um, cosmetic chemist, she was black, and a trichologist. So 
I went into complete student mode. I wanted to learn everything about the scalp. I wanted to learn about hormones, everything about the body, how long, not even realizing that it takes a, co a complete two mm -hmm. years for mm -hmm. your body to completely be rid of pregnancy hormones. So you can go all out of whack within that, that time. Um, so it was a lot, but also it pushed me even more because I'm like, no one talked to me about that. I have three kids. I didn't know it took that long. So most moms probably didn't realize mm -hmm. that either. So just working with a cosmetic chemist and, you know, we did a lot of um, research on raw materials, a lot of testing, making sure that whoever we were buying the raw materials from, they had great practices. Nothing was unethical. Yeah. So we put a lot into just making sure that as a new mom, you don't have to worry about, or, you know, a repeat mom. Mm -hmm. I have, again, three kids. Yeah. So making sure that you don't have to worry about another toxin going mm -hmm. into your body when you're taking care of your kid. Wow. That's so, so you're, so and to put this into context, people originally, you're originally from the Bahamas. I am. You came to school here, university here. Yes. You're obviously married and had children and you've been here in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Your background's in business and marketing. Yes. But then you're, are you like in your bathroom and kitchen <laughs> saying like some uh, coconut oil? I mean, how does, how do you go from yeah, that to that? that and then Online, there um, there was this, um, it's called Formula Botanica. They have courses where you can learn um, chemistry and formulation. So even though I did not want to be the person <laughs> whipping up all this stuff, I still had to in the beginning because, of course, to hire a chemist is very, very expensive. Yeah. So, yeah, I took a bunch of courses and learned how to formulate myself. And once I was to the point where you know, I can bring someone else on, then I handed it over to them. But my ideas and all of the raw materials and stuff, those were things that I sourced oh, myself to go into the product. That's so neat. Well, while we talk about this kind of entrepreneurial journey, we've got a lot of videos that we're going to start playing so people, as we talk about it, can can see the program. So, I mean, when you think about launching a business, obviously, mm -hmm. we're clearly looking at the success of it. And we'll see this on screen. You've got the product. It's for sale. Mm -hmm. What was probably one of the biggest sort of unsuspecting challenges of sort of like launching this? You know, when I actually launched, I was still working a full-time job. Oh. <laughs> I was still working a full-time job. Well, I, I, I was testing and I was working a full-time job. And this was before I got pregnant with my second daughter. So I was playing around with formulation and all of that stuff. Hey, and then let's do four months into my pregnancy, I lost my job. <laughs> oh, gosh. So that was hard because it's like, okay. Oh, okay, who's going to fund this yes. thing? I don't have a job anymore and I'm pregnant. So it's probably not going to be easy for me to go somewhere else with the belly showing, you know? So I just took a, a, a leap of faith to really buckle down and make sure that if I'm going to make this successful, yeah. I'm going to go completely all out. Um, it was still difficult because again, you don't have that that backing, I had support from friends and family, but financial backing, <laughs> it was literally like, you have to make this work. So the pressure was, was real. Thankfully, my marketing background came into play and I was able to get it out there pretty quickly and just being authentic with what was happening to me at the same time. Mm -hmm. That actually helped me sell to a lot of women pretty quickly without even having the best website. You know, this was in my original packaging because I couldn't afford the packaging I wanted at the time. But because the authenticity and me being the voice of so many women that wanted a solution like this, we were able to take off pretty quickly. It's, I mean, it's really, I, I, I just, your story it is so inspirational because I mean, it's, it's personal, you know, yes. and it's, you can tell that there's a personal drive behind yes. it and connecting it to other people who have that experience. And now mm -hmm. it's a, a product that, you know, everyone can use, you know, mm -hmm. and to have it, I think it's such a good story. And I mean, I, and just that, that journey that you've been on, mm -hmm. you know, and we talk about that, you know, we have to have this ability as humans to feel like we can change. And it feels mm -hmm. like you were pretty present in that moment. Was your, it sounds like your family was supportive. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it hard to initially get your mom of three that never goes away motherhood? And so was it hard to kind of get this all going or you finally feel like you, when do you feel like you really hit that stride? After my son was born, he just turned six a few weeks ago. Um, after he was born and the same thing happened with me losing my hair again, <laughs> um, I really just said, you know, I've been in this online space for a while 
and three kids in, still no one is talking about it. So that was just my sign to say, you, this is a wide open market and it's a need too. Yeah. And outside of just hair care, it gives, gives the space for moms to really realize, okay, this is what's happening to my body, even if they didn't know it was happening, and to have that safe space where they can share those stories, where they can ask those questions mm -hmm. and stuff like that. We formed a community of everyone not knowing what is going on, but now we have someone, a brand that's literally saying, this is what's happening yeah. to you and here's what you can do. Yeah. So that's the best part is hearing those stories of, you know, I didn't even realize it, but thank you mm -hmm. for all of the blogs you've written, all of the posts you've shared about how what's happening and how to take care of it and things like that. So that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> and I should mention too, before we go to break, you are an arch grant recipient. I am. And that's, and to have that award is really exceptional. It means a team of people saw what you're doing and Absolutely. said, Hey, we want to invest in this. We want to support this. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. On that. That's really exciting. Well, we're going to dig into, we've been talking about this product and we need to know what it actually is. And we're going to learn more <laughs> about it, how it's put together, where it's made. We're going to put up a graphic for you on the screen. Two of them, actually. Uh, the first one is where you can actually go and learn and buy Baskin Bloom Essentials. It's right there. Baskin Bloom Essentials. <laughs> you did a great job on the marketing there. <laughs> and the phone number. This is all based right here in St. Louis. And Kendira can talk more about that. And then we've got the social handles. Uh, coming up. Uh, you do a great job. I mean, your team, your marketing team, and Thank you, you do a great job. Facebook, Instagram, everything. I was checking it all out and love your TikTok videos. We were showing <laughs> some of the uh, videos that you have on YouTube, but uh, we're going to get into more details. We're going to take a quick break, but stay with us. We're going to learn more about Baskin Bloom Essentials when we return. Stay with us. It takes less than one minute to find out if you may have prediabetes, and you can do it here. So what are you waiting for? Just go to the site. There are so many reasons to love St. Louis, you can't pick just one. And you're never too far from great music and entertainment. So come and experience St. Louis. Hi, I'm Sarah Thompson and welcome back to City Corner. Today we're talking with Kendira Thompson. She is the founder and CEO of Bask and Bloom Essentials. This is a line of innovative, ethically sourced hair care products. And we've been talking about this, the entrepreneurial journey of all of this. And now I kind of want to segue into the product itself. Um, we've got a lot of like photos and videos of people using your products, but kind of like let's walk through it. And you've brought some of the stuff here. So kind of get, get me through it. We've got this one-on-one -on -one ethically sourced ingredients, mm -hmm. cruelty-free, uh, no artificial dyes, recyclable packaging, all of this stuff. So kind of let's dig in all the different types of products. What do you have? So we have a full range of 11 permanent products from shampoo, liquid shampoo to shampoo bar. We have a lot of customers who are into um, eco-friendly packaging and um, longevity. So our shampoo bar is one of those. Um, a liquid shampoo was formulated for scalp inflammation, irritation, flaking. Um, anyone can use it. The men love it too. Okay. <laughs> um, 
So, and then we go into our deep conditioners. We have a hair mask and a deep conditioner, and we have stylers, moisturizers, gel, mousse, all the way down to finishing stylers, our edge pomade, and our hair oil. Oh, wow. So we are a one-stop solution for literally every hair need. <laughs> Every hair need, every hair style. If you want to wear it straight, curly, if you you have a protective style, then you know a lot of women like to wear box braids and mm -hmm. things like that. We have products you can still care for your hair while doing that. Oh, that's great. Well, I do want to set, have some of the videos kind of play of just like of different people using it as we yes. talk because I think what's really cool is we've focused so much on the first half of like mm -hmm. how you started the business, why you started it mm -hmm. um, through your postpartum experiences, but really with the product itself anyone can use it. Yes. So it has, it's not totally tied to just the postpartum hair loss. This right. is a product, as you said, that it's one stop. You can, mm -hmm. um, you can use it. So tell me about how it, whether it's, you know, we get into curly hair, mm -hmm. we say two, you know, the two A, B, C, three A, mm -hmm. B, C, four, anyone then with natural for natural hair can use it then. Yes. Um, so the, the curl pattern chart, you know, it was created by, I think his name is Andre Walker. He was Oprah Winfrey's hairstylist back oh, in the day. Did he create so the curl pattern chart? It was really for his, his products. Got um, it. But when formulating my products, I kind of wanted to get away from the curl pattern chart because there's so much that goes into the health of hair that women do realize, like your curl pattern is your curl pattern. The mm -hmm. only way to get rid of that is through like a chemical treatment, mm -hmm. like a relaxer or a texturizer. Okay. But more important than that is your hair texture, where do you have fine hair, medium, thick or coarse hair, or if you have low porosity hair, meaning it's hard for it to accept moisture, mm -hmm. or high porosity hair, meaning accept moisture, but it leaves pretty quickly. Uh -huh. So we focus on that because moisture, especially with curly hair, it's very, very important. It's hard for our hair to get moisture because our, our strands are curly. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't travel down as quickly as if your hair was straighter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we really made sure that our products had all of the emollient rich ingredients in it to, if it's thick, coarse, you're still getting that nutrition in your hair. That's you're great. still getting that long lasting moisture. Um, if you wanted to even straighten your hair, you can still use really? the products because they're moisturizing, but they're not heavy. So it's not gonna weigh down your hair. Uh -huh. um, but again, if it's thick or coarse, you can layer it and still be able to enjoy the products. Got it. So, but that part is all in, you know, educating our customers, which we do a pretty good job of, as you can see in our videos. <laughs> like, if, if there's there's literally all type of women <laughs> using it. I um, love that. I love that. And just it, yeah. showing them that, hey, even if whatever texture, whatever ethnicity, you can still find, you know, a solution within our line to I use for your hair. Products. So what do you, what's like kind of your, your I'm looking at you, it's beautiful, <laughs> and your hair looks amazing today. What's kind of your routine that you typically do? So I use, for this style, because I literally just did it last <laughs> night, <laughs> our gentle herbal cleanser that you see there, and um, we have our two-in-one pre-poo deep conditioner, which is our newest product that just launched um, in October of last year. And other than that, this is what we call a twist out, a two strand twist. So my, my baby is our more moisture cream. That's one of the first products that we launched. Yeah. You can use it as a leave-in conditioner, a moisturizer. You can use it as a curl cream. So that's all that I put in my hair to style it and a little bit of oil when I take it down. Mm -hmm. I am a very simple girl. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not a washing girl girl. I'm more of a twist out. Okay. Um, and, you know, I work out three to four times a week and it still holds up my hairstyle really, really well. Um, outside of that, we have a refreshing spray. So if you're not, you know, tight, if you're tight on schedule and just want to get that hydration back into yeah. your hair, you can mist it and add a little bit of that cream and keep it moving. Oh. So um, we make it really, really easy for you to, again, add in a healthy care regimen with everything else going on yeah. in your lifestyle. You and I were talking before we started, uh, it, you know, before we started shooting the show. And I was saying when I was a child, it was really I mean, mm -hmm. hard to find the right product products when you had naturally curly hair. And I remember yeah. like being in the kitchen mixing like mayonnaise and avocado yeah. and olive oil. And, then Egg and you mayonnaise. <laughs> and, you know, you remember that? And then now you go to the mm -hmm. stores and there's a huge line of products for natural hair. It's really, really amazing. Where do you see, how does that, it's a lot, there's a lot of competition. So how do you see with your company kind of moving forward? Do you have to continue to innovate the products or develop it and expand the line? Or how does that work in terms of scaling and the way it works in the kind of natural hair care market? Definitely innovation. Mm -hmm. um, 
I um, really focus on what our consumers are saying. We do a lot of surveys and stuff like that. Yeah. And it may seem like there's a lot of hair products on the market, but there are not a lot of products that's catering to certain needs. I see. And that's where I wanted to focus, really because I had a certain need. And, you know, that, that Facebook group that I was speaking to those women, they had 50,000 women in that group. Yeah. That with all of these, these hair care products on the market, they still weren't satisfied. So I look at that like opportunities versus competition. So even when I go into the stores and stuff and I'm reading, you know, descriptions on <laughs> products and what they do, uh -huh. you know, a lot of them are pretty much the same. Some of the ingredients are still the same. One thing we really separated ourselves with was using Ayurvedic herbs and herbal extracts in all of our formulas. Mm. And they're becoming more popular now, which is actually good because those are, you know, the ingredients that helps with certain things mm. like reducing shedding, reducing breakage and all of that. And like you said, even growing up, we did so much to our hair. The environment affects our hair. Our hormones affect our hair. Stress affects our hair. Mm -hmm. So keeping all of that in mind, making sure that everything we put in there is going to help with protecting from those things that we may not even realize. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, I just, I <laughs> no, I think this is so great. As you're talking, I'm sitting thinking almost like when you told that story in the first segment about losing your job while you were pregnant. Yeah. I'm like sitting here, thank God you lost your job, right? Because <laughs> out of that came this hair care line and you're really, and I see this on your social mm -hmm. media, really helping people. And I, mm -hmm. I think there is that sort of deeper connection. We don't always talk about it, but mm -hmm. we invest so much in how we look and our mm -hmm. hair is so personal to us that when you have either hair loss or it's not working for you, it's it's a problem that you struggle. Absolutely. And so you're hearing that. I mean, I look, checked out your social, you're really getting a lot of yes. responses. Yes. That's how we've been able to stay in business yeah. and continue on this journey of growing, realizing that. And, you know, we get a lot of reports about what's, trim, what's trending in the beauty industry, what a consumer is looking for, what they're searching for, Google Analytics. You know, mm -hmm. my background is in marketing, mm -hmm. so I pay attention to all the data. Mm -hmm. And the data says people are still looking for products that does, that helps with hair thinning. You know, Mm -hmm. even to this day, scalp issues and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So when we really worked on our formulas, we worked on it based on the data mm -hmm. and it hasn't proven us wrong. That's awesome. And we're looking at that photo that was just up. You've gotten a lot of press. Yes. Uh, it was Huffington Post, Essence Magazine. So yes. that we just saw that. How's that been? You feel pretty... You, Pretty, something's clearly yes. working and clicking. Yes, we won an award for Self Magazine Healthy Beauty Awards last October for our Gentle Herbal Cleanser. We won it for a best um, shampoo for natural hair. And the, the other one that we just won back in November was um, Top Non-Toxic Black-Owned Beauty Brand. Oh, yeah? It was through the um, Breast Can Cancer Prevention Center, which I'm very proud about because, again, it's tied to to women and our hormones and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So for them to recognize all of our ingredients and say, okay, we've taken a look at your brand and you guys are considered non-toxic, like we've been saying. Yeah. Um, so it just put a stamp on, you know, what we're doing and, you know, the the people that we're trying to serve. That is so awesome. That's really awesome. And I mean, this is all happening. I was asking you <laughs> off camera, I'm like, where's your, where's your office? Wait, you're doing this all in St. Louis. You yes. are making this yes. here. That's so exciting. I don't think there's, I don't think, I could be wrong. You could tell me if I'm right. That there's a lot of when you think about hair care products, anything being made here outside of people doing it, yeah. like you know, small business at their like batches at home mm -hmm. or things like that. Is that about right? Are you probably? I I haven't met enough. Well, there's there's a few other founders yeah. through Arch Grant that I've that I've met, but you know, there's a lot of opportunities to grow. And I think with hair care, people shy away from it because they think there's a lot of products on the market. But you know, just hair care alone, like my industry my area is worth $25 billion. So we haven't even like moved the needle yet. <laughs> there are still a lot of opportunities to, to, you know, get started in St. Louis, especially, but you know, the, the community in itself, you know, we have a lot of room to grow and network here. Mm -hmm. So I love the fact that it's not crazy like New York and LA, you know, those, those bigger cities, it just allows us to really be focused and, 
just keep our eyes on what our goal is versus watching what everyone else is right, doing. Right, to do. That's really great. No, that's a great story about having a business endorsing <laughs> uh, St. Louis. So we have this like screen video of what it's like to go on your website mm -hmm. to kind of explore. So we'll cue that up because the big question after we're talking about all this is where do we get your products? So Absolutely. obviously when you go onto the website, and we'll take a look at that, you can buy directly off your site. That's kind of scrolling through your site. By the way, your site's great. Thank you. Uh, really uh, user-friendly and, you know, so you can buy online through where else uh, mm -hmm. can people find your products? Um, we do have some retail locations, um, which is listed at, in the footer of our website. So we're in small beauty supply stores, independent boutiques in the U.S., Canada, U.K., and the Caribbean. And we're always pitching to get more of those stockists. <laughs> uh, we recently relaunched on Amazon last month, just testing it out to see in how, how that goes. So, yeah, but mainly we sell through our e-commerce website. Your e-commerce yes. website. And, you know, we had talked about you're from the Bahamas yes. originally. So is this, uh, when you go home, have you have you set up a shop uh, back in the Bahamas yet? You know, we were actually sold in a few stores in the Bahamas. In 2019, they got hit with a really bad hurricane mm -hmm. um, that Hurricane Dorian wiped mm -hmm. out the entire island. So they're still bouncing back um, from that. And, but it's, you know, last time I went home, things are looking good, looking like my childhood <laughs> <laughs> memories. So hopefully we can get back um, into another store there. But another island, Nassau, that's where we are right now. And we're just slowly growing and, you know, looking to pick up the pace with that too. That's awesome. Well, as we start to wrap things up here, I always try to kind of bring this back and bring this back home. And I know you do a lot mm -hmm. of talking at like business schools and sort of mm -hmm. those kind of workshops. So for anyone listening to this, and we've covered a lot here, I mean, a lot from your personal stories mm -hmm. to, you know, the entrepreneurial story to the product itself, what sort of advice do you have for someone just about really in this case, like just pursuing, I, I, without sounding cheesy, pursuing your <laughs> dreams, but really just the motivation and just pursuing to, to follow through with an idea that you might have. My biggest advice is start. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds simple, but a lot, just talking to a lot of entrepreneurs, um, they want everything to be perfect before starting. And it's it's not <laughs> because when you do start, you learn more things and you change and you tweak and you grow and you change and you tweak. You know, like I said, this was in the packaging that I started with first. It was a brown jar with black top, but I had this packaging on my vision board since 2016. But if I didn't start, I wouldn't be able to grow my business to the point where I can afford it. Mm -hmm. And things like that. And you become more confident and knowledgeable by starting realizing that, you know, that didn't really work out well, but now I know better and I can move forward. So just take that leap to get started and little by little, you'll figure out where you need to go That's from there. Thank you. Thank, thank you for that. You. And I know you were so busy. So thank you for the time to come today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. it and can't wait to see just what happens uh, you. with your business. Well, before we go, we're going to put back up on the screen for you the information so you can learn more. It's Basque and Bloom Essentials. You can head to basqueandbloomessentials.com. The number there is on the screen and a lot of social media. That's what Kandir has been talking about. Tons of stuff out there so you can see how the products work on hair on different people and all that's there check them out facebook instagram youtube and tiktok and once again thank you so much for being thank here you. thank you <laughs> and thank you at home and keep it right here on stl tv experience st louis <laughs>